Trevor from Plateau Astro, and I am standing in the middle of a football field, which might be relevant in a couple of minutes. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to see the International Space Station fly overhead with the naked eye. It basically looks like a really bright star, really bright dot that takes about five minutes to move across the entire sky. You don't need any special equipment for it. All you need is a smartphone, your eyes, and a clear sky. You've probably heard of the ISS before. It's where we send astronauts most of the time whenever we send them into space. It's been up there for over 20 years now, and it is huge. How huge is it? Well, it's about the size of this football field here, and it has these giant solar panels that give the space station its power, but those solar panels also reflect light from the sun, which allows us to see it here down on Earth. Now, I wish more people knew how easy it was to see the space station. Again, all you need is a smartphone, a set of eyes, and a clear sky. You don't need a pair of binoculars, no telescope, none of that. And you can even do it in the middle of the city or even in a brightly lit football field like this. So I'm gonna show you how. So there's a lot of different free apps out there that'll show you the times when the space station will fly over your location. I recommend a free one. This one is called ISS Detector. So after you download it, it'll ask for your location just so it knows where you are on Earth. And when you open it up, it'll give you a list of all the different times that the space station is going to fly over. It also shows up in the top left the next time that it'll fly over. So it's gonna fly over here in less than 20 minutes, 17 minutes and 55 seconds. And this is the one that they're talking about, the one that's gonna come up next. So I'm gonna tap on this, and it gives me a bunch of information. It'll tell me the start time, when we'll first see it, how long it will last for, and the time that we'll stop seeing it, the, the end time here. Now, there's a lot of information uh, for dorks inside of here. Uh, start elevation, start direction, latitude, longitude, right ascension, all of that. What we're worried about is the start time and the start direction. Now, this is gonna tell us what time the space station is gonna start flying over and which direction we should face in order to see it. So this app will send you an alert a few minutes before the space station flies over. So get outside a few minutes before this start time. Now, for the direction, it says here, west-northwest, 290 degrees. Now, if you don't know what this means exactly, there's actually an easier way in this app. We're gonna tap the radar tab right here, and what this is gonna do, this is gonna give you a live view using your phone's camera, and it's gonna tell you which direction you should face. It's telling you that you need to move your phone this direction, like this. And once you're facing the right direction, this will turn into a little circle like that. And that is the direction you should face to see the space station when it first appears over the horizon. So I'm about nine minutes away from the space station flying overhead, and I'm on the details tab, and the details tab shows me a little map uh, on top here, and I can make this map a little bit bigger, and this map shows me where the space station currently is. And right now, at eight minutes and 45 seconds away, the space station is over the Pacific Ocean, about to fly more or less over Vancouver. So in the eight minutes that it's gonna fly over, it's gonna go all over Western Canada, over Central Canada, Canada, and then fly over me. The space station is moving super fast at about seven kilometers per second. So when you do see that bright dot moving in the sky, keep that in mind, how fast it's actually moving and that there are actual humans aboard the space station. The ISS won't be up there forever. For either technical or political reasons, it's gonna need to come down, and that's probably gonna happen sometime around the end of this decade. So it's heartbreaking to me how few people, I would say maybe only one in every 10 people, have actually gone and intentionally seen the space station themselves.
The ISS is this symbol of international cooperation and it's this enormous technical achievement. And I hope this video shows you how easy and how cool it is to actually see the space station for yourself. Thanks for watching.